In this week's video, we revisit a tiny house hotel in Portland, Oregon, where every tiny home has a different theme. The tiny house we're gonna to be touring today is their newest creation, which is a wine-themed tiny house and has a single-story floor plan. If you're interested in seeing inside some of the other tiny houses they have here on the property, you can check out more tours on my channel. So, let's take a tour. But first, I'd like to thank Nomad Internet for sponsoring this video. Nomad is the only truly unlimited internet you can use in rural areas and while on the road. Stay connected wherever you are without any extra fees. To find out more, check out the link in the description. I'm Pam Westra, and I'd like to welcome you to Tiny Digs Hotel here in Portland, Oregon. Tiny Digs Hotel is a hotel of nine tiny houses on wheels. My husband Bruce and our son Kevin and I have built the tiny houses here at Tiny Digs. We came here because Portland was very into the tiny house movement already and the government entities were accepting the tiny house movement and they're very progressive not only with commercial uh, establishments such as tiny house hotels but they're very progressive in allowing tiny houses in backyards or driveways. When I was dreaming about having a tiny house hotel, I decided I wanted to not just make cookie cutter, like a regular hotel kind of houses or places to sleep that were all the same. I wanted to have themed rooms for people to go in. So we have each tiny house is a different theme. On the Merlot here, we have this gorgeous deck. Inside the Merlot, it's very cozy and small, but the outside space gives you double the living space in this house. We have this part that's covered with a roof, but if you want to go sunning on your day, you can get a south exposure over here on the couch. This is a wine barrel stave that we repurposed from a local winery. And then one of our staff who's artistic painted the letters on here for us. Over here, we have our repurposed grapevines. Then we have half barrels here that we used for planting the grapevines in. And lo and behold, I didn't think they were gonna make it, but they did. They're growing very nicely. So here we are in the interior of the Merlot, and the Merlot is just a one story. It doesn't have any lofts in it at all. We purposely did that because we have a lot of people that come that might have mobility issues. This was a good opportunity to um, have this queen bed right on the main level and just turn it into a real fun, cozy kind of place. We have a little electric fireplace here to make it more cozy. You can see that from in the bed as you're laying in the bed. And then there's a lot of fun features in this that were custom made by my husband to um, bring in the wine theme more. And one of the funnest things about this video today is I have this glass of wine that I get to drink throughout the whole video here. So um, let's uh, enjoy. We wanted to go to the wineries and get labels from all of them. And they were very gracious in supplying those because they wanted their winery showcased on our headboard. This is the first time that we've used any cork in our houses, but totally apropos with it being a wine theme. But these are just cork tiles. They're very nice. They create a warmth in here due to the color of them. And they also provide a lot of soundproofing from the exterior outside. The main feature of the room I feel is this good workspace kitchenette area that we have. 
It has this beautiful live edge. The wood is actually called spalted maple. And what it means when it's spalted maple is that a fungus gets in the wood and rots the wood from the inside out and eventually the tree dies. And that's why we got this gorgeous piece of wood in here because the tree was dead. And then we have the two shelves above that are out of the same piece of wood. All of our houses come with organic coffees and teas with a little French press and um, induction heat plates to come in and warm up some food or cook something and make your morning coffee and tea. This gorgeous picture here, it kind of draws you into the house as you walk in the front door, the French doors, and gives you that sense that maybe there's a vineyard out back here and this is a window to the world. But another cool feature that we found after we got this and it was um, up on the wall, when we did the dimmers on the lights, it actually changes the brightness of the sun. So it actually looks like it might be a sunset or a sunrise, and you can play with the dimmer switch and make it whatever you want there. Over here is um, just a cute little Pinterest find, I have to admit. It wasn't my creation, but it has a little old rake. It has the wine barrel stave with the rake attached, and then it has cups for the AM and wine glasses for the PM. These lights here were custom made by my husband, Bruce. You watch a lot of YouTube videos and they make it look so simple and easy, but he probably went through 15 or 20 bottles and they're beautiful at night. So the uh, grapes up there actually are on a little uh, timer. So check-in is at four o'clock. So they kick on at four o'clock and they go off at nine o'clock. One of the other cool architectural features of this house are the ceiling tiles. As you can see, they're a very unique design. And Home Depot has those in 25 different design patterns. So you can go to their special orders online and pick out the design that might fit your tiny house. They're very easy to install. You can even repaint them a different color if you'd like. Here in the bathroom, as all the bathrooms at Tiny Digs, we have a flush toilet and a hot and cold water shower. This one is pretty deluxe. It's a 36 by 36 shower. Most of them are 32 by 32s. In here, again, the wine theme carries over. We have this box from a local vineyard that is now the toilet paper holder for the spare rolls of toilet paper in the house. And then this mirror was a Goodwill find and then I had all those cool donated corks from the local vineyards and adhered them to the side with my hot glue gun. These are actual reproductions of patents from the 1800, early 1900s of when the wine bottle was patented. This one is the wine bottle opener. On this wall we have the wine barrel and the grape crusher is on this wall too. So these are just kind of fun. The takeaway that I'd like my guests to have when they leave Tiny Diggs Hotel is that they've just had a grand experience, an experience that was a real adventure for them and that they'll remember for a lifetime. And we hope they come back and experience each house because each one is so different than the other. Thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to check out the other themed tiny house tours on my channel from the Tiny Digs Hotel, and I'll see you next week with an all new video.